everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with another video and today is the follow-up to the ATR harness issues that I was having. Uh, the ATR harness I had was used. Um, it had some cuts and nicks and sections of the, uh, the loom cut out and retaped back together. A lot of connectors and ends and stuff like that. I mean, it was, I mean, I don't understand. It worked great for a while and then all of a sudden it stopped working. Uh, really great so um, you just saw me gunning out the old harness uh, and that was about three hours ago uh, so let me give you an update of to where I am actually right now at this moment okay you'll have to excuse the mess there's zip ties and pieces all over the place but I read ahead and I read it already did the the, the rear and got the stator and the power the spark plug um, I haven't got the tail light together yet that's still in the works and then I got the ground and the power to the uh, the starter already uh, I still have to kind of do a little bit of cleanup there's the tail light again uh, I got it wired through here I didn't do a wire tuck so forgive me um, temporarily connected some of the battery and stuff like that um, and this time I've been taking my time with the uh, the connectors and putting crimp uh, plug connectors everywhere and decent taps taking my time took off the front of the box so I can spend some time really wiring it up um, my headlamp assembly since I use LEDs I went ahead and uh, made a connector for that my power button my power button my my start my start button here it is uh, I looped my uh, my uh, kill switch since I don't use a kill switch but if I wanted to it would be easy for me to cut this and uh, wire up a switch for future purposes uh, I'm putting all my stuff inside the case zip tied down and I'm really trying to think through the wiring this time so that I can close the battery box um, put some bolts in and uh, really taking my time with it um, so let me give you a summary before we go finish this people got the wrong impression from my last video me saying that the ATR harness is bad, I actually love the ATR harness. It's simplicity. Uh, the uh, TRS one has labels all over the place. Uh, and an awesome video, three part, that's easy to follow. And uh, yeah, it's, it's good. I love the simplicity of this harness. I mean, it doesn't get more simple than um, rolling wrenches one, but you're gutting out all the things that you don't, need anymore there's a lot of functionality in that ECU that you don't need that takes up a lot of space um, yeah you get to still use the stock fuel pump that's electric versus the vacuum fuel pump but I don't have an electric I don't have a vacuum fuel pump so I don't have to worry about that and it's it's popular lots of people have it what my my point of that video was is that the ATR if you buy something used a harness especially you, beware like if they're offering if, if the harness is they want to sell you a used harness for like a hundred dollars like bargain them down to 50 because you have no idea what they did with that unless they can show it to you and it looks beautiful and clean uh, I went ahead and hooked everything together I was able to get a good start I was able to get my headlights to turn on and I'm having a little bit of an issues with uh, getting a good start like right away it turns over like two or three times before it actually starts but I think that's because when I was troubleshooting and testing, I was probably flooding the crud out of the motor. So yeah, let's go ahead and finish this up. We're gonna go ahead and uh, finish the tail light and some other parts, and then we'll go ahead and uh, do a start and a little bit of a ride around up and down the street so that we know that it is complete. Oh, side note, uh, I replaced my stator. Uh, I read online that I replaced my stator and my my rectifier uh, someone said because I was plugging in my uh, multimeter when it was running and it was going well above 15 volts almost into 16 volts before I shut the motor off so that was probably what was blowing my main fuse 
uh, that was protecting my electronics and my bike. But anyways, let's go ahead and finish this so that you can see that a fresh ATR harness is like going to the grocery store and watching them unload a box of apples that looks so yummy. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish. sequence got cut a little bit short because it started to rain the rain has stopped I finished everything in the garage and it, it's running great now I still have a little bit of a problem whenever I start the bike um, it takes a little bit before it it turns over a few times before it starts um, but let's go ahead and take a quick look so I could do a little bit better with the wiring here uh, I tried to hide it behind the bar so you can't see it um, this is sticking up a little bit, but eh, no big deal. Right here, I could put these together. This is my electronic fuel pump line, and then my uh, trickle chargers right here. So that could be better. Uh, I did mess up this top screw up here, so it's gone. And this front piece is a red part painted black, so that's unfortunate. Um, and then I forgot to hook the power to this now there's a battery in here already and, and then uh, but it'll eventually run out of battery um, then I found out my my spark plug uh, if I wrap it here well the cable that I had before it had a nick in it so I recut it and put it around here and now my tack reads better that's good um, and another thing I wanted to show you I took the, uh, I took this, the tank cover, and I got my spray paint, and I soaked the spray paint can in some super hot water from the sink, uh, waited 15 minutes and sprayed, and in between each layer I put it inside the, the hot water, and it came out really well, nice and smooth. I was surprised how good it was. Um, and then while my bike was down, I went ahead and, uh, spent some time every time i was watching tv i'd put a layer of wax on it so this has probably got like eight layers of wax on it right now so i like that it looks good So yeah, there you go, it's running again. I haven't taken it on a long ride yet to test to make sure I'm not blowing any fuses, but uh, right now is not a good time to take a risk. It's been raining. Uh, so thank you everybody for all the comments that I got on the last video about the ATR harness and, and the messages that I got about what it could be. Uh, I haven't had a chance to autopsy the old harness, but I am planning on cutting it up and, and looking to see inside. And why when a harness isn't really that much money? Um, because I wanna know. Uh, for me, whenever I do stuff with a bike, I want to know why it didn't work. I don't want to just replace a part. It's just me. I guess it's my generation that likes to do those types of things. But uh, yeah, the learning process is always going on. What does this do with the 171cc project? Well, it puts it back two weeks. Um, I want to go ahead and iron out the kinks with the uh, harness, ride it around for a while, make sure that everything is running great which I hope so, it sounds good. <laughs> and then uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the 171 project. Anyways, I got the, uh, the cylinder, the A12 cam, uh, the 60 millimeter head, uh, the 30 millimeter OKO carb with jets, and then I went ahead and uh, got a throttle cable connected to it, so it's all ready to go. Uh, I just need to install it, so. Anyways, that's where we are at. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell if you want to get notifications in the future. And I will see you next time.